Ooh, what do we got over here? Ooh, oh, come on. You, I'm not going to leave a blue crystal behind. Now, I'm already very into this game that was so influential. It inspired uh, the entire God of War series. Okay, so save points only activate if there are no enemies nearby. Makes sense. Get them crystals. Okay, so we need to clear these guys out if we want the save point to be activated. Gotcha. Okay. These nasty bugs. Ugh, what are these things? Where are our baboon friends? <laughs> oh. Alright, we got a save point active again. <laughs> Alright. Cool. Alright, so where are we going from here? Can we just like fly around here? Oh, this is so gorgeous. Yeah, I really like the design of this area. This is probably the best environmental design of the whole... I mean, obviously, you know, we're playing a different generation version of this the, the games, but I love the design of this. Yeah, the soundtrack is really, really pretty. Like, the soundtrack is just so evocative of the place right now. It's like, it's a spooky woods, but it's also very pretty. Oh, you'll love it. Okay. So are we just clearing these guys out as we go along? What's what's happening here? I think there was a way around to the left, maybe. Yeah, can we just fly around? This is this is cool. Nice burn these. Yeah. Give me them crystals. Oh yeah, totally. Like, you know, when you're when you're a kid, like this is like, you know, it's part of, like role play. You're just like, you know, walking around in the forest. Cover me. Play Cinder for a little bit. I really like her powers too. Uh, poison's okay. I like this. Whatever it is, it's like fear or something or shadow. Hey, Hunter, how's it going, my boy? My they man. Found us. Weird. They found these two dragons chained together. Like it was a really hard task. Oh, the Lego games were really fun for that because it's it's really like an extension of the whole idea of like a play set, right? Don't let them escape, or others will come. I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to let them escape, but they kind of have the upper hand with the whole like tiny little bug thing. This is really, come on, go. Come on, buddy. How are you? How are you not dead? <laughs> Are you just going to keep spinning forever and ever? There you go. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, what the hell are you? You're like an elephant tree. What do we have here? Well, you look like you're made out of wood, so why don't I switch over to Spyro? Light you on fire. Oh, jeez. What the hell are you? All right. Can I launch you? No, you are unlaunchable. Yeah, the, the Lego games I really, really love. They're, they're just a, like a playful, fun, silly adaptation of the source material. Especially, you know, I think for a lot of the time, the, the, the properties that, you know, some of them are based on, Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, Batman, they take themselves so seriously that there's almost, like, no room to have fun. Whereas it's like the Lego games where it's all just kind of goofy and silly. All right, why don't we try... Why don't we try a little bit of uh, Cinder's action, huh? There we go. All right, 
right, I guess we got some free XP out of that little fight. And there was some over here too. Well, hell yeah. Give me that XP. Yeah, we're keeping them pretty close in XP. I guess it doesn't really matter though. All right, generate our magic. Nice, nice. Ooh, that is a big magic crystal. Oh, geez. Okay, so Cinder's green magic crystal. You found a green magic crystal. Collect three more to upgrade Cinder's magic. Oh, okay. So these are very similar to like the chests you open in God of War. Gotcha, or sorry, God of War obviously got its chest from the, the, the crystals in this game. You know, I keep making that mistake. And there was this also over here. Perfect. Lovely. Oh, you said there was a chest around here too. Ooh, there's definitely the vines over here. There's an area to jump up over here as well. Ooh, it looks like there's another big crystal up here. Come on. Oh, of course we got, we got to jump it. We got to actually make the jumps. Or not. You can just cheat. <laughs> uh, I would like to fall. Thank you very much. This one, I want to make sure Spyro's here. I'm not sure if they have to be in close proximity to make this work. All right, cool. And now we both have, so she only needs two more. He needs three more. Ooh, what is this? Okay. I wonder how much of this can you skip? Like, is this area just open? All right, so where is our, you said it's over by our cheetah friend. Ooh, what do we have here? Well, this definitely seems like something we can do to, oh, okay, we have a co-op action here. Nice. So this is. For you at the top of the cliff. All right, you got it, buddy. You got it. Hmm, you're yeah, not seeing any chests around here. Well, we can definitely go over here. And there are some vines that need torching. Excellent. Okay, what did this get us? Sparks is definitely leading us to, oh! I think we found the chest that you were all talking about. Hell yeah. Nice, what do we got here? Ooh, oh, this must be some of the armor. Of course. Yes, we found new armor for Spyro. So wait, do they have different armor sets or is it just one armor set? Let's take a look here. So what is this, tail armor? Increased attack speed, ooh. I am always a sucker for attack speed. It's, it's mildly noticeable. What, what, some of my favorite classes in video games, or like, you know, character classes, are ones that benefit from attack speed. Like, I love Demon Hunters and Diablo 3. All right, what do we got here? Hmm. Just a little area around here. It's just so much, it's so satisfying when you, like, there's that jump you make eventually, where it's like that noticeable improvement to your attack speed, where you're like, oh, oh, I, this is like, the, the the path to like becoming like a, a god in the game. All right, so swinging. While one dragon is climbing, the other dragon, oh, can use the chain to swing. Okay, interesting. Okay, so how do I do that? Do I just switch? Yeah, okay. Oh, that's neat. I don't want to go over here because this looks like a health gem. Oh, I mean, movement speed is always satisfying. Right, so I have to hold. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. All right, so I want to swing around, and then can I grab it here? There we go. That's what I wanted. Yeah, hopefully this gets it for both Spyro and her. Yes. All right. Like three to upgrade Spyro's life. Okay, so it's inverted. It's easier to upgrade Spyro's health, but not his magic. And for her, it's her magic, not her health. Gotcha. Perfect. 
Wait, so, oh, interesting. So because now I can switch to Spyro, and now I can swing him up, okay. You know, that's something uh, God of War wasn't inspired by that's actually pretty neat. Oh, and there you go, all right. Yeah, that's a neat mechanic, the, the, the tandem swinging. Okay, so we can talk to him and he'll take us to, I guess, a new location. Uh, anything else around here? Doesn't look like it. That would be pretty funny. That would be a hilarious sight, Gold Roger. All right. We're in the Enchanted... I mean, I thought that was a pretty Enchanted Forest already, so I, I'm excited to see what this is. Ooh. Go. Tell Ignitus I have found them. Their cutscene game is hugely improved in this. Well, maybe if we try twisting it. Twist what? It's mad. I was gonna say, yeah, what are you talking about, Spyro? <laughs> I can watch this all day. Oh, you will. You will, Sparks. And you'll like it. The Dark Master. He's oh, it's always the Dark Master. I'm afraid so. Just shortly after your disappearance, he struck quickly, fueled by hatred. Oh, that does sound like him. Reclaiming the throne at the temple, which... Through some dark magic, he now suspends above the land, a symbol of <laughs> Maybe he's just trying to hide it. We've been at war <laughs> ever since, and every day, his forces grow stronger, and ours lose hope. I failed. They were all counting on me, and I failed. How could I let this happen? Something well, I mean, you were kind of control. entombed in crystal. You shouldn't blame yourself. Spyro, you are lucky to be alive. Yeah, exactly. Hunter's got perspective. There was no creature back there. It was an ancient earth golem from the deep. They are the embodiment oh, of destruction the summoned by Malifor himself. These are dark Yes, Malifor enemies. being the revealed stopped. name of the Dark Master. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down, tough guy. You don't need to go around picking fights. I mean, uh, the woke up after the previous purple dragon. Years. Got stuff to do. And what, what might that be? Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, shortly, shortly escapes, shortly recaptured. Great job, guys. Yep, Spark's always the last one to go. Good. That is a good observation. <laughs> Do you have such little respect for our laws that you form an alliance with the very ones who caused all our misfortunes? Chief Oh. Prince. Malifor, he alone is the one responsible. All right, so this, this guy is our last. He's kind of like an outsider of his group. see that. Yes, yes, the purple dragon. I know this story, but unlike you, I have not forgotten what they say Malifor was like when he was young. Oh I shit! Not forgotten either. What she has done. Okay, okay, I but I mean, she is reformed. As I must rely on all of us in this village to protect it, but you chose to abandon us and bring the dangers of the outside world with you when you were told. Oh. The dangers are already around us. Don't pretend to ignore them. Wait, Wait dangerous Alba is arguing? Hunter? It's getting awkward for everybody. Interesting. I don't really hear it, but I guess you know he he has a very good voice, so maybe maybe he's doing some work on it. Adris Alba is like one of my top five favorite actors. Whenever he is in something, I am already immediately signed up to see it. Maybe he's Prowless? I don't know. See what you've done? No, he doesn't really sound like Prowless either. We can help. Our warriors can handle this. He sounds more like Prowless, but that's the thing about voice work. You know, if you're good at it, you can make your voice sound like all sorts of things. Well, everything's popping off again. Hell yeah. Let's do it. Let's clean this place up. All right. Oh, these things are so nasty looking. All right. I know it's already on fire, so, you know, our fire breath won't do that much more damage to it. 
I want to oh, I want to take control of Cinder. I love her powers. They are really cool looking. Yeah, her like, you know, like sonic boom or whatever this is is very cool. Hell yeah. This also seems to stun them, which is nice. It's like an extra crowd control. Oh, Blair Underwood is Hunter. That I can hear. I can hear that. Yeah, yeah. Damn. There are a lot of these little nasty bug whatever morblins. Ugh. That's the thing. It's like, you know, once you combine little insect wings with something that's hairy, it immediately becomes like 10 times more disgusting. There's something about hairiness and like insect wings that just mm, does not sit well in the stomach. I think we're saving the house. This is just, we got to kill these guys, right? Hell yeah. All right. Well, we took down all those guys, I think. Minus him. Okay, good, good. Oh, who do we have here in the sky? Look, dragons! Yes, we are saved! Ooh, I, those don't look like dragons. Uh, and at least no dragons I've ever seen. All gonna die. Oh, God, these things are even grosser. Do you know, I will say they upped their enemy game. Though I do enjoy the, the, the designs from... The original Legend of Spyro. All right, we gotta we gotta do some damage to these things. All right, good, good. Oh god, they are really doing some damage. All right, Spyro's got some magic. They're doing damage to the house. We need to, like, do damage to them to prevent them. I, I'm trying, buddy. I know it's already on fire. There we go. Do a little spin attack. Get some mana back. Nice. Very good. Hell yeah. Hell yes. Man, these guys look just exhausted. I mean, I can't imagine finding fighting the Dark Master for three years straight has been, you know, a very exciting proposition. Oh, I could totally see this game being a complete disaster on the PlayStation 2. Is everyone all right? No. Meadow is missing. He had gone upstream to search for herbs this morning and has not returned. Ooh, Nicholas. Bringing up go the him. real, no. like he is He's fully hardened by war, desensitized. His enemy is dehumanized in his I'll mind. I'll find they are nameless. Friend. Hunter can come with us. Actually, that is something I did miss. I I loved the goofy names that randomly generated You're for free enemies. To act as you see fit, but Hunter stays here. However, if you remain true to your word and come back with Meadow, I may reconsider. Okay. Don't bother returning before then. All right then. Jeez. Only in attracting more grublins to our village. All right. They they're not a big fan of the grublins, and neither are we. So maybe we can find that commonality. All right. So we need to find Meadow. Oh wow. Oh, this area is gorgeous. Oh yeah, Hunter. I mean, Hunter's got a great voice. I feel like all the, the voice acting in this so far has been quite good. Yeah, this is really, really pretty. Let's see, what do we got over here? It looks like there was a blue crystal. Excellent. We haven't done any upgrades yet, but mainly because I don't know what upgrades I like the most, or like what powers I like the most yet. Oh, hell yes. They know how video games work. If you have a waterfall, you must put something underneath it. Oh yeah. This, this is video game 101. If you, if you do not have a secret passage or a piece of treasure behind your waterfall, you have profoundly screwed up. Whoa. Uh. <laughs> That's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, it is. It is really nice. You can just fly around. It's a trap. 
What a trap, you say? Oh, we found him. Oh, he was just behind the waterfall. Assuming that's... Assuming that's him. I'm assuming that's Meadow. What is this meter at the top? Yeah, we haven't found... Or at least it hasn't tutorialized it yet. Oh, hell yeah. I'm assuming that you're Meadow. Oh, what do we got here? Ah, we got another friend. Hell yes. Oh yeah, give him the business. Oh. Yeah, I'm really into the, the combo system they got going. Oh, that was a launcher, okay, good to know. Nice. Okay. Uh, didn't quite capitalize on that. We gotta figure out a faster way for us to get into the air. Nice. Yeah, I really enjoy Cinder's moveset. Like it combines with her powers, I think, very nicely. Use a little bit of our magic to get out of here. Nice, okay. Nice. Oh, it's a fury. That's what it is in the top, okay. So press square and triangle simultaneously to go into fury mode, okay. In two player mode, press simultaneously, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But we don't need that yet, so I don't wanna waste that. I'm assuming that is like a basic god mode. All right, so is this in fact Meadow? Have we found our boy? All right. Oh no, more grublins. Why don't you guys just get out of here, huh? Yeah, seems smart. Thank you, friends. You saved my life. Finally, some gratitude. You're welcome. You've met Chief Prowlis, no doubt. Not all of us are of the same mind. Okay. Well, that's putting it mildly, isn't it? <laughs> Can you move? Prowlis seems a bit, you know, you stuck in I'm his sorry. thinking. <sighs> I'm afraid my leg is broken. All of the kiddies need deep voices. And tell them where I am. Your leader doesn't trust us. If we return without you, he'll likely assume the worst. Yeah, that's definitely yeah. true. And blame us for it. Oh, the fool. I understand. There is a raft at the far end of the valley. If you could bring it here, okay. perhaps I could pull myself onto it. Okay. All right. We'll do it. That seems to pretty straightforward. You'll need the weights from the supply cave, but it's locked. Oh, wow. Oh, that figures. This is like a whole there thing a that we got to do here. There is beneath the waterfall at the other end of the valley. Okay. He has a key, but the cave is hidden. God damn. Look for the markings on the wall to open the path. Oh, it's easy. Uh, raft, cave. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Got it. Yes. Yeah. We'll we're, you know, this you. guy's just been, you I know, promise. cave and chilling. You know, who can say? Who can say? Ooh, we got a chest here. You know, who know? Do you know this is actually a uh, a catnip mine? Funny enough. Very dangerous in large doses. Whenever they're in here, they gotta be making sure they're wearing masks. What do we got here? Ooh, more armor. Excellent. Okay. All right. Oh, but it's Cinder. Okay, cool. It's the cat in mine. Don't worry about it. Don't think about it too much. Okay, so Cinder now has her own tail armor. And it wounds attacking enemies. So... If enemies attack Cinder, they take damage. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. Though I would say my favorite weapon, I, I, let's say ability or attribute, I don't know how you would call it, but basically vampirism. Like I love a good attack that's like life steal. We 
the catnip mines where the worst criminals are sent to atone. All right, we're back out into the world. This is really cool. We can just like fly around here. I mean, it's not like a huge expansive world, but it's really fun being able to actually just like freely fly. Ooh, ooh, we got ourselves a health crystal, it looks like. Hell yeah. Nice. And we have more grublins. Great. You know, love them grublins. <laughs> yeah, like, what did, what does the PlayStation 2 version of this even look like? I remember when when we were trying to decide which version we, we wanted to play. I, I looked at, like, the, the Wii, the PS3, the 360, and the, the PS2 version. And... The PS2 version, I remember, let's say, having deficiencies of a profound quality. Alright, what do we got? So, I'm assuming this waterfall over here is the one he was talking about, where the Hermit lives. Alright, keep an eye out for upgrade crystals. Ooh, what do we have here? Why do we want... Hmm. Oh god. Who are these nasty boys? All right, you should get on the ground. There you go, there you go. Yeah, thankfully this attack actually does a little bit of a stun too. Yeah. Get him, get him, Cinder. Yeah, the, the Wii version I remember especially being egregious. But I, I imagine at least it would be one of those interesting games where it's like, I would love to know what they did with the motion controls. Because that's when motion controls quite hadn't, uh, like they hadn't fallen out of vogue yet. Ooh, we got ourselves a magic crystal, but how do we get to it? Seems like it doesn't want us to fly up to there. All right, so what is the, the, the route that it wants us to take there? Hmm. All right, we can go over here. Can we turn around? No, it, it really does want to block our height. There we go. Oh, I think that's what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the speed boost. Oh, that's a that's a that's a good tip. All right. Well, we can at least get the XP right here. Hmm. Yeah, but there is six axis stuff in this as well. But I have a turn. Not here for that today. How the hell do we get up to there? What does it want? Do we have to like break something down here? Like will it create like an air vent or something? Hmm. Hmm. No. Yeah, obviously there's the, the, the green crystal right up there. How much did we go in here? Nothing? Hmm. We can't grab onto this surface. Is there anything else on this thing? I mean, not that we really need it. I mean, it would just be nice to get the upgrades. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be a very clear way. Hmm. Wow. They actually did a pretty good job of building out, like, a interesting-looking, like, hub world. I'm not going to say open world, but it's like a neat little hub. so visually pleasing. This is definitely in the era of video games where Bloom was used liberally. The difference between a hub world and an open world? An open world I would define as something where you are spending your time in it entirely. A hub world like this is where you're kind of like, imagine it like a wagon wheel. And the wagon wheel has spokes. The center of the wagon wheel is your hub, and then the spokes go off into different areas. And the fact that you load it, like, you never return to this, like, some of these areas, it looks like. It seems like, you know, once you once you wrap up with them, you never return. 
makes them feel more like a hub and less so an open world. All right, let's get higher up. Maybe we can glide down there. So I'm trying to think of like another good example of a hub world. Um, hmm, probably, hmm. I can't really think of a better example than like just the, the description, like a hub world, like what game? What game would be a good example? Oh, we can, oh, we can climb upside down too. Okay, that's nice. I'll take it. Yeah, what's a good hub world? I guess, oh, oh, uh, like something like Deus Ex is kind of like a hub world. The only thing being that you do return to a central hub. Okay, how the hell do we get back here? Yeah, Mario Sunshine is a great example. Or Mario 64 too, where there is like a central hub area that you can explore, but hmm, you spend a ton of time around. What do we got here? Oh, we need one of those orbs. Okay, but there was that open that gate here. Hmm. Hmm. We need one of those, what are they, adamantine orbs, I think they were called when we Open that up, okay. Because we can slam, but yeah, I think we need to get the orb onto there. However, we can get over here. Or maybe we can't. But we can do it from here though, I think. Yeah. Oh, and this is just gonna carry us over here. You know, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. I'll take it. Excellent. This I'm very happy to get. Cool. All right, pretty pretty close to Cinder getting her next magic upgrade. Now the question is, it looks like maybe we have to get behind it. Like maybe there's a route over here that leads to the, aha, there is a route over here. Excellent, okay, well, what is this? All right, so this leads over here. Then we can take this up here. And then it looks like maybe jump over this way, okay. Whoa, what do we got here? Oh, nuts. Oh, this looks like a mean, nasty boy. Who the hell are you? Okay, this thing has got some serious health. I don't know if we want to fight this thing. Oh, it's an elite enemy. Oh, oh, yeah, see, oh, this is exactly where I thought we wanted to go. Ooh, good save, good save. Yeah, this is what I wanted. Hell yeah, all right. And Spyro has almost upgraded his health. Great. Oh, uh, I don't like this. This guy, that guy looked like he was not taking any damage. It looks like you can't hit us in the air, though. Oh, I don't know about this. We we were taking no damage. Oh my god, that's so much. Okay, no, no, no. He just nearly two-shot us. <laughs> oh, the mask shows of which element to use. Ooh. Ooh, okay. So we have the sonic element. Okay. All right, let's try to fight this guy with that. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, so... Okay, so it is doing a little bit of damage, but not a lot. Oh God, not a lot. Okay, aha! There we go. Oop. God, he does so much damage, though. I got this. Okay. Oh my God. Oh my God, it still nearly two hits us. Oh my God. Yeah, you can barely do any damage to this thing. Uh, was there no mana up here for uh, us to get? Okay, there is mana, but no health. Oh, God. Hey, buddy. Oh, my God. 
Cinder doing any damage to it? No. All right. Thankfully. Whoop. Okay. All right. We have our attack speed upgrade, so maybe we can do something here. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, you know. All right. So where does it spawn us? Okay, so it's up here still. Oh my god. Oh, the fury, that would be a good idea. Okay. Let's try that. Actually, I, I want to try to fight this thing. You know, this, this will be the last try before I move on. All right, what color do we got? Red again. All right, so we need to be a cinder. I'll handle oh, this. <laughs> bad timing. All right, I think she'll come up here. Yeah, there we are. And we need to switch to her ability. Why isn't it doing any damage? Oh, shit. Why aren't you doing any damage to the goddamn mask? All right. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, magic. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't hitting it. There we go, there we go. There, yes. Hell yes. Where are you, buddy, where are you? Good, we got some good damage in there. Yeah, good, good, good. It's gotta get in hits, gotta get in the hits. Damn, these guys are so tough. Couple hits, that's all you need. Oh shit. All right, switch. Switch to Cinder. She can take at least two hits, I think. Or at least one. Ooh. All right, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. I want to get more magic for her, though. If she has the health, I'll give her the magic. More magic, please. Where are you, buddy? Oh, all right. We got like a third health left. Yeah, no joke, these things, like, are devastating. I mean, obviously, it'll get easier the more, like, Armor, more health we get, but damn. All right, we're, we're doing okay. I kind of want to try to get her more magic. All right, we're, we're good, we're good. Oh, jeez, this is stressful. It's like full-ish magic. All right. Good, good, doing some serious damage there. Almost dead. Did we get him? Did we get him? Yes! Oh, hell yes. Oh my god. Oh, jeez. That was a hell of a fight.